everybody. So we're going to California. We're making two stops. We're going to the two areas that you know very well, and uh, it's a shame. It seems that many more people are missing than anyone thought even possible. And uh, I want to be with the firefighters and the FEMA and first responders. We'll be spending a lot of time. We'll be coming back here, probably landing at 4 o'clock in the morning or something like that. But uh, we want to spend a lot of time. We want to discuss many things. I'm meeting with the governor and the new governor and governor-elect. So we have a lot of things to talk about. We will be talking about forest management. I've been saying that for a long time, and this could have been a lot different situation. But the one thing is that everybody now knows that this is what we have to be doing, and there's no question about it. It should have been done many years ago. But I think everybody's uh, on the right side. It's a big issue. It's a big issue. Very expensive issue, but very, very inexpensive when you compare it to even one of these horrible fires. But we're taking a look at it. You know, we also have a great ally in Saudi Arabia. They give us a lot of jobs. They give us a lot of business, a lot of economic development. They are, uh, they have been a truly spectacular ally in terms of jobs and economic development. And I also take that, you know, I'm president. I have to take a lot of things into consideration. We have large numbers of people trying to get into our country. I must say the reason it's increased so much is because we're doing so well as opposed to the rest of the world. And if you look at south of our border, it's not doing so well. But regardless, we have millions of people online to get into our country legally, and those people have preference. They have to have preference. They've been waiting for a long time. They've done it legally. So we have a lot of things happening. But we have a great military force on the southern border. We're not letting people into our country illegally. And we're not doing a release. We'll do a catch, but we're not doing releases. So if they think they're going to be released into our country, like in the old days, like for years and years, they catch and release. We're not releasing. They don't get released. No, I don't question his loyalty at all. He is 100 percent loyal. It was a phony story. I doubt they had any sources. A typical New York Times phony story. Mike Pence is 100 percent. Not even a doubt about it in my mind. Thank you very much.